fifths of the spectators of football match were in the terraces. That means two parts. Two parts were in the terrace. Would you agree with that? Okay. And five parts total. How do I know there's five parts in total? Huh? Okay. That means three parts were where? Three parts were in the stands. And we know that three parts was 17,500 and? Because one take away two fifths is three fifths. Three parts out of the five were in the stands. How do you figure out what one part is? Divided by three. So 17,580 divided by three. And you get 5,800 and. Then multiply that by five. Who got 29,300? Okay. And that is the last fraction question we're doing. Okay, gents. In this question here, what you're going to do is you're going to add the X's together, and then you're going to add the Y's together. And in the second question, you're going to add the A's together, and then you're going to add the B's together. Up you go. Now, what you can do is ignore the X exists and just do 1 plus 2. And that would imply that there's three X's. Then ignore the Y exists. And you're going to do 3 plus 5? 8 Y. Is that okay? Now, in the next question, see the minus A? That's actually minus 1A. So, Using the blue lines, you're looking at the blue ones. So here's what I'm going to do with the blue ones. I'm going to enter 3, take away, 1, plus 2. You're looking? And then what we're going to get is an answer of 4A. And then I'm going to go to the red ones now, and I'm going to do 4 plus 2. 6B. See the way you can use your calculator to keep track as well? Okay. Now, question six, what we're going to do, it's exactly the same stuff, except there's two letters. What's 1AB plus another 1AB? 2ABs. What's 3ABs plus 2ABs? 5ABs. Okay. 4CDs plus 5CDs take away 2CDs. Seven CDs. If you wanted, you could put into your calculator four plus five take away two. Ignore the CDs even exists. What about the next one? Two take away five plus four? One, is it? Everybody happy enough with that? Okay. All right, guys. You guys are going to try these, these three questions now yourselves. We simplify these expressions to three different items. There's P's, which is 2 plus. 2 plus 1 is 3P. Then there's Q's, which is 3 take away 4 minus 1Q. And then there's R's, which is minus 1 plus 2. H, turn around. Minus 1 plus 2. And that will get me 1R. You cool with that? Okay, H, uh, what's 2AB plus 5AB? 7AB. And what's C take away 4C? Minus 3C, good job. And then finally, uh, A, 6AB minus AB? 5AB for the blue part. And 2CD plus 3CD? Yeah. Now, these questions, I'll, I'll help you with the first two. Is that okay? So what you do with these questions is you write down a blank space where the letters are meant to be. Do you see that? I see the blue one. Three blank blank minus uh, C, which is minus blank as well, right? And what you do is you fill in the numbers. What goes here for the red one? What goes here? Go into your calculator and do 
do 2 multiplied by 1 plus 2. Everybody see that? 4. And for the blue one, what you do for the blue one? You do A is 1, B is, and C is 3. And you do 3 times 1. You can if you want, yeah. Take away 3. And you get an answer of 3. Will you guys do 4 and 5 for me now? So, part 4, which I'm going to call the green question. Okay, I will see it here. 3 blank 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 minus 4 blank blank. Okay, what goes in here, Jay? B, which is? What goes here? C, which is? And then 4AB, so what goes here? Yeah. Yeah. Then you just go over to your calculator, and you enter it all in, exactly as it looks. And most of you should get the answer pretty much all right there. And most has got <coughs> an answer of 10, did you? Okay, this question, which I'll call the purple question. Uh, C, what goes in the three brackets here? Yeah, your C, yeah. What goes in here? Which is 1B. And here. And then in here. Yeah. Huh? C is? No, C is 3. Alright. We go to the calculator and we're doing the purple question now. We're doing 3 bracket, 1 bracket, 2 brackets, 3, take away 2 bracket, 1 bracket, 3. We get 12. Everybody happy with 12? I'm going to do part 4. Everybody see part 4? Looking? Press 3 open bracket plus 3 over 10. Go to your calculator. Press the fraction button first. Then press 3. And what goes into the bracket? Uh, I think the question said X is 9, did it? So it's 3 bracket 9 plus 3 all over 10. And we get an answer of 3. Is that okay? Want you guys to do these these uh just these two, the two in red, is that okay? Don't do part two, there's no points. You have enough practice. Just do nine over three or bracket nine over three, yeah. Okay. So most of you know the first one. You replace X with nine. Nine over three. Three. The next one. Two brackets minus six all over three. What number do you put in here? And then you go to the calculator and you just go press the fraction button first, 2 bracket 9 minus 6 all over 3. And you get an answer of 4. Lads, I want the audience to practice this question again before the test. Right, ready? Replace A with what? Minus 2. And see the 1? Just leave the 1 there if you want. And put that into the calculator and we get. Nope, minus 2 in a bracket with the square on the outside. 5. Next question. Look up if you can. Okay, what to replace B with? 3. What to replace A with? Be careful, you need the two minuses. Because two minuses make a plus, and then the C value, 1. Go to your calculator. Ready? 3 minus minus 2 squared plus 1. What you get? 26. Now, last one. Replace A with what? Replace A with? Replace B with? Replace C with? Okay. 
Go to your calculator again. 3, 2, bracket, minus 2, plus 3, take away, 1. And you get an answer of minus 4.